How's it going guys? And welcome back for a brand new video here on the Onyx Wheel. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And before this video begins, make sure you smash that like button and of course subscribe to my channel. I am 200 subscribers away from 17,000 subscribers. I mean, it is absolutely crazy and I want to thank everybody that subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do it right now. And while you are at it, make Make sure you hit that bell to join your daily dose of Dexter and get a notification every single time that I upload. But alright guys, last episode we had a little flip out, or oh, well we didn't, I kinda, kinda had my own flip out over here. Oh. My. God. I'm not really sure where I'm wrong right there. I just got uh, pissed out of nowhere, but I do apologize for getting pissed and just kind of leaving you hanging out there, guys. But do not worry. This episode, we're going to take a closer look at all the things that I missed last episode due to my outrage. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, dig straight into it. In 12 hours and 50 minutes, it is time for TNT to be enabled and people can start raiding and have fun. And with TNT being enabled in 12 hours, it is important to finish your base. And as you can see, my faction have been working quite hard on the base and we are actually done. As you can see, the little, uh, you know, <coughs> we had out here is gone, moved in, everything is pretty. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, man, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting pretty proud of my faction for doing all of this work even though it must feel really bad that someone fucks up you step up and you actually finish the base and f of course solve all the issues that the base had i mean that is pretty good so it looks like what, what is this okay so those right there is counter holes as well all right that's pretty awesome but yeah we've been through the base already the layout and everything so we're not gonna go through that i just quickly wanted to show you guys that the base is actually done and it is looking absolutely fantastic and it says export at the bottom not gonna lie Hi guys i am I'm, I'm pretty happy about that and oh also this right there is slaps look at the amount of slaps we have there i would not have had like what's it called two right there i mean there's an easier way to do it to protect your slaps that we figured out i'm pretty sure it was last season so yeah that it, it is that then it's color coded as well but yeah anyways we've been through the base it's just that i'm kind of highlighting everything that we missed so everything we missed of course that has been been doing after i kind of you know rage quit but yeah color Color coded, an actually pretty good idea. I showed you guys this right here. I'm pretty sure on Amble, uh, what he color coded it, and now everybody else is doing it. So that is fantastic to see that people are taking it in and actually using it. If you're looking for a color coded base layout, you can find that on my Discord, free to download. There's a picture and everything of it. It is looking shiny. But all right, let's go ahead and get to the base and see if we got ourselves a roof out. What is this? What are those? Oh, that's just glad. Well, that's nice. All right, and here we are. So it doesn't look like we have a roof out just yet, but we do have 12 hours to do it. So I I think that we're going to be fine. Now, I think that last episode, I did not really give you guys a good enough base tour inside the base. So this right here is the amount of spawners we have. Nothing impressive. We have top three. So that's, that's fantastic. We took that spot back. But as you can see, we are still lacking spawners. It's not as crazy as it used to be. But to be honest, I'm fine with it, man. I mean, I'm fine with it. So then we have a one. One block of lava right here. Then we have our cell chairs or void chairs down here. And not sure what this is. To confuse the enemy most likely. And then down here we're gonna have down here. Oh, thank god. That was a lot of whiff layers. Holy shit. Oof. Oof. Alright, uh, that needs to be fixed. Nope, never mind, we can't fix it because right here we got silver fish. Did he go down? Why did he go down? Did he go down and get killed? Or did he do? Okay, so they fall down, boom, and die, and not getting picked up because, you know, we don't need money. We only have top three, you know? Alright, that's cool. And uh, yeah, you guys pretty much saw this. Nothing has really changed. Our blaze grinders, blah, blah, blah. Further down, there's a hole right here. So people can just get in here and, uh, oh, well, probably they couldn't. If they had 1.14, they probably could. But, Alright, then we have all our vaults right here. We're gonna pick one up ourselves today, most likely. And underneath that, we are not gonna have anything. So not even a ref layer. Okay. Well, that's like kind of like one shot and you're in. But uh, I'm probably gonna make a ref layer. But anyways, that right there is the base. And that's what I failed to show you because I did my rage quit. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and dig straight into this episode, guys. I am very excited for this episode because we have 12 hours till TNT enables. And there's so much stuff to do. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna go and cut this 
this clip right here, but yeah, GG. Alright guys, the first thing we should get today is a vault. It is crucial that we get a vault because that is how we store all our stuff. And as you can see, they kind of laid it out for where you can have your vault. So that's pretty nice. If we do slash GB, get a, one of these bad boys right here. And if we can find the obsidian among the 20,000 gen buckets they have, we can find ourselves one of these bad boys right here. So all we gotta do is line up to where we are going to have our box. And we can get this vault in like two seconds. And just like this, guys, that is how you get yourself a vault. And uh, oh god. Ah, wee woo. Ah, fuck. It was at this moment he knew. He fuck. Oh. What the hell? All right. Well, that's fine. I mean, I'll take it. You just get kicked if you get inside a block. It's like fucking you over tries. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, here we go. So, I'm pretty sure I'm out. Uh, let's not do that one more time. Let's just uh, try to be a little bit more careful about how we generate our box right here so we do not get stuck. But, alright, here we go, guys. That, right. Oh, God. Do we have to water it? Nah, fuck that. Fuck that, man. I'm not doing that. Alright, here we go. So, that is our vault. Let's just go ahead and uh, start looking. So, I have been using my kits, um, but as you can see, I have plenty of more kits to do. So, yeah, if we do ki oh shit, my vape. If we do slash kit and uh, click on the partner kit right there, that is the one we need. So if we do PV1, let's go ahead and throw out something right here that we do not need. Oh god, okay, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and get some chests and place those chests right here. I'm not really sure how many I need, to be honest. So I'm just gonna give me myself a little chunk right here where I can have my stuff. Just like that. Nothing crazy. And uh, that is pretty much it. So now I can fill out my, uh, what's it called, my vault with with, uh, with uh, in the chest right here and use my kits and stuff like that. I'm gonna do that off camera though because it will take a while, but all right. One vault down, base complete. Everything is looking a lot better. Alright guys, so as we uh, earlier saw, we do not have any riff layers at the bottom right down here and of course in between right here. I think I'm gonna do the bottom ones first. Because, uh, yeah, that's kind of a little bit more important. There's a bigger chance that somebody is... What What the hell am I doing right now? Faction helps? F grade? What? I don't need faction help? All right, here we go. So let me see. So we're going to get the horizontal obsidian. So yeah, as I was saying, it's more important that we get reference down here than up there. Because there's more chance that somebody's going to try to reverse from the bottom than it is making it kind of 140, stack through all the walls, and then do... Yeah, you get to do it, right? You get to do it. So how about we just get started on all of this right here to get ready for TNT? So... I already marked out how many I'm gonna have, so it should be pretty simple to just quickly gen those in. So the first thing I want to do is that I want to make a line all the way around to make sure that, uh, yeah, I don't accidentally gen out of where the water is. And, you know, it's going to be very ugly if I do that and have to reset it and uh, everything. So let me go ahead and line out what we are going to have all our riff layers, and then I'll see you guys as soon as we are done with that. All right, guys, I'm done lining out where we are going to have our ref layers. That way I can't fuck up and, li and limit the amount of times I can fuck up as well because it was, it's going to stop me as I fuck up. So the next step in my evil plan, or not my evil plan, but my plan is to, uh, yeah, pretty much just get going all over this right here. I'm going to use horizontal to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then that is going to go that way, and it's going to be all beautiful, and everybody's going to be happy. However, I do think I'm going to water every single ref layer separately all the way up, and then of course, the last one I have to uh, gen or so we water in a different way. But without further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and have a nice, neat little time lapse of uh, us, yeah, well, making ref layers. All right, guys, we pretty much finished the first one right here. I just quickly wanted to show you guys how we're going to water it. So we're going to water, water it like this uh, directional. Oh, God. Oh, God. We move. There we go. So we're going to do it like this and then all the way. And that pretty much allows us to generate without too much hassle. So if we put ice in between right here and we had to kind of swim and break the ice, it is just annoying. So we're going to do it this way instead. And as you can see, somebody already fucked up, even though I kind of explained to him that we should do it this way. But, it's, you know, today it is not time to be angry so i'm just gonna do it like this 
doesn't really matter. However, there is a way to buy back this. So you can pretty much just do something like this. But yeah, anyways, that is uh, what we're going to do to gen it. And uh, this is how we're going to water it. All we need to do now is do the rest of the red flares. But of course, doing them is probably going to take about 13-ish minutes. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and speed this up. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. All right, guys, there we go. Completely done with all the red flares. Could just do a little pokey and, and that other guy that speedy console as I go with it. All right, so we finished off, well, five red flares down here and about five right there. So now we cannot get a shot from the bottom, which is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted, guys. I do think we should extend it out by one as he's doing right there because that is really going to help us if somebody nukes it down. But all right, red flares done. Base is 100% complete. If we do slash, oh God, slash grace. Oh, my vape. Keep fucking dropping that vape. 11 hours and 58 minutes. So we managed to do this in a little under an hour. So yeah, GG guys. Riffle is done. Base done. Let's go. All right, guys. There's one more thing we can do before TNT enabled. And that is, of course, our beloved roof art. So apparently the faction thought it would be a good idea to have one purchasing an unban. Not really sure about that one, but I mean, I'm not the one to complain. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and uh, start getting ready to print this in to be honest i do see the hilarious part in this so i can't wait for it to be done yet anyways let's do it and go ahead and just dig straight into it and of course i'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so yeah enjoy the time lapse All right, guys, the roof art is now done. I'm going to put a picture onto the screen right now because I am not running with a minimap at the moment. But as you can see, it is a it's, it's a pretty hilarious picture. It, it was hard to get it to fit perfectly, but I'm pretty sure we did a did a pretty good job. But anyways, the base is now 110% done. Yeah, it was 100% done before, but now it's 110, all right? Just 110% done. No more work on the base. GG, guys, we are ready for grace. And there we go, guys. If we do slash grace, there's one hour and 13 minutes until TNT enables. And that, of course, means that this is going to be the last episode of the grace period. So next episode, it is all about raiding. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally start raiding people. But of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. And of course, comment down below. You can comment just about anything. It really doesn't matter but it does help quite a lot with the statistics and also if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that right now i'm only 200 subscribers away from 17 000. and also if you haven't joined your daily dose of dexter go ahead and click the bell right now to get a notification every single time that i upload hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day stay safe in this covid 19 period and i'll see you guys next time